Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at copper 2 ethylene diamine nitrate. Now, with both ethylene diamine and nitrate in the name, you already know how it's going to behave. Let's get started. On the left, we have both nitric acid and copper hydroxide. These will both be reacted together to form a copper nitrate solution. On the right, we have ethylene diamine, a beaker to hold it, and some distilled water. This nitric acid was made by mixing WFNA with distilled water until I got to a concentration I thought was appropriate. Now, what we're going to do is add the copper hydroxide slowly to this nitric acid solution until no more reaction seems to be occurring and we have a precipitate of copper hydroxide remaining. So again, the copper hydroxide is reacting with the nitric acid to form both water and copper nitrate. Classic acid-base reaction. So, I'm going to go ahead and add all of this copper hydroxide until no more wants to react, and then we can continue on with making the ethylene diamine solution. As you can see, before I start to do that, um, like with most hydroxides, um, this copper hydroxide has reacted with CO2 in the atmosphere to form copper carbonate which you can see forming a small amount of CO2 whenever it is added. Or rather, you could probably just hear it. Alright. I'll skip to when I'm done adding all the hydroxide. Okay, now we have the nice, beautiful, blue, clear solution of copper to nitrate in water. Now, what we're going to do is set this off to the side for a few minutes. We'll need it soon, but let's just set it off to the side anyways. Now, we can go ahead and weigh out, or not weigh out, but measure out 5 milliliters of ethylene diamine. Please be very careful. Ethylene diamine is very, very dangerous. Very toxic as well. As you can see, ethylene diamine is a clear, colorless, fuming liquid. Yeah, it fumes heavily in air. So, and that's because of a uh, formation of a hydrated product. Now with stirring, I'm going to go ahead and add our ethylene diamine into 5 milliliters of water. So, this is 5 milliliters of ethylene diamine going into 5 milliliters of distilled water. I'm going to wash out the beaker of the solution. Ooh, that's getting nice and hot. Ethylene diamine heats up when dissolved in water. It heats up quite vigorously, I should say. This is almost too hot to touch. Okay. Now what we can do is add in 10 milliliters of our copper nitrate solution. Then we should see the nice color of ethylene diamine copper 2 nitrate complex. Here we go. Let me turn on stirring here. Now, you may be thinking this looks a lot like Schweizer's reagent, and I assure you it is not. It is a much more vibrant purple color. And there might even be some precipitate forming already. That is good. Let me go ahead and uh, continue to stir this solution and let it cool down room temperature. Okay, so here we have the copper ethylene diamine nitrate solution. And the thing is, it's kind of boring. I mean, let's be honest, it's kind of boring if it's in solution. It's only really exciting if we get it out as a solid. So what we're going to do now is exploit its solubility and crash it out into an alcohol. Here I have, you know, the normal anhydrous isopropanol. And what I'm going to do now is just dilute this since there's a little bit of solid here at the bottom. 
you probably won't be able to see it, but um, I'm just going to add a tiny bit more water and stir to make sure everything is dissolved. And then we can go ahead and crash it out into the alcohol. And we should see the beautiful purple color of the solid copper 2 ethylene diamine nitrate as a solid. All right. So what we do now is secure the stir bar with a magnet and add, oh, I should actually add a stir bar and put this on the stir plate. Now that I think about it, one sec. Okay. Now that we're all ready, we can go ahead and add the copper 2 ethylene diamine nitrate solution. And we'll see the precipitate. Extra thick! So we can see it's a very thick precipitate of the copper 2 ethylene diamine nitrate. And this precipitate will be very easy to filter. So what I'm going to do now is wash out the original reaction vessel with a small amount more of distilled water and then add that amount or that solution, that mixture to the alcohol which should precipitate out a little bit more, you know, get a better quantitative yield. So what I'm going to do now is just continue to stir this, these beautiful shiny crystals of the solid complex and then I'm going to filter it and dry it and then we can observe some of its properties. Now, some of you EM junkies out there might be wondering, well, why don't you create the copper hydrazine nitrate complex? I mean, it sounds like a great energetic. Well, uh... Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, what in the fuck? Uh, hydrazine decomposes or is reduced by copper solutions to nitrogen and gas and water and creates a, basically a, well mine's not even really a mirror, normally it would create a copper mirror, um, but mine just created a, this. Hey, that's a bullshit! <laughs> so, copper hydrazine nitrate isn't possible as far as I know, but all I do know is possible is tetraamine copper 2 nitrate, which there is, you know, a few syntheses on YouTube about it, so I don't really feel like I need to do a video. Uh, it's just simple addition of ammonia to copper nitrate solution. And it works the same way as this does. Um, you just crash it out into alcohol and uh, then filter it. The filtrate can be further treated with more isopropanol to squeeze out even more product. It's up to you if you do that or not. Here's the final product. Beautiful glistening purple crystals of copper 2 ethylene diamine nitrate. Now let's go ahead and see how they perform underneath the flame. First, I'm going to heat it from the bottom with a normal lighter. Interesting. It melts and then explodes with black smoke produced. And a slight amine smell. Alrighty, now the direct flame test.
very nice and very energetic. Well, this is the synthesis and energetics properties of copper 2 ethylene diamine nitrate. I really hope you enjoyed. You can like and subscribe if you want to. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.